الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحبت في الله It's important to know that all of us commit sins and it's important to know that although we commit sins we can come back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives the believer even if you committed shirk you can come back if you committed zina you can come back if you drank alcohol smoked weed you can come back if you killed someone you can come back and all of these are major sins but you can come back the prophet said all the children of Adam make mistakes but the best of those who sin are those who make repentance listen to this hadith of the prophet which shows us the importance of not just Tawbah but the importance of the Salat and this is a reminder to myself and my brothers and sisters make sure you make the prayer on time and if you're men make sure you strive to make your prayers in the masjid likewise and so forth عن أنس رضي الله تعالى عنه جاء رجل إلى النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم فقال يا رسول الله أصبت حد فأكمه عليه وهدرت الصلاة فصلي مع رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم فلما قضى الصلاة قال يا رسول الله إني أصبت حد فأكم في كتاب الله قال هل هدرت معنا الصلاة؟ فقال نعم قال قد كفر لك متفق عليه This is a hadith in Bukhari and Muslim A hadith in Bukhari and Muslim Listen to this beautiful hadith of the Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم that gives us all hope for tomorrow and today to make tawbah and come closer to Allah In the hadith of Anas رضي الله تعالى عنه a man came to the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, came to the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And he said, O oh, messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, I have committed a sin, I've committed a ma'asi, something that's punishable. So, establish the, a punishment upon me. And he attended the prayer and he prayed with the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and after he finished Salat he said O Messenger of Allah verily I committed a sin so establish the punishment upon me from the book of Allah Prophet وسلم, said, Did you pray with us? Did you attend the prayer with us? He said, Naam. He said, Yes. He said, Then you have been forgiven. Related to Bukhari and Muslim. immense benefits and for why and for us. From, a, from some of those benefits that the ulama mentioned is that if a, 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 a servant attends the prayer in a manner which is in accordance with the Sharia following the way of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam how he prayed Alayhi Salatu Wasallam externally and internally then this person will be forgiven for their sins Another benefit of this hadith that shows us the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his servants. We need his mercy. We need his forgiveness. We need his favor. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continue to give us mercy. May Allah grant us peace and tranquility and stability. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase our risk so we can make dawah to him. We can call the people to khair. May Allah increase our risk so we can take care of our families and help and do khair and give sadaqah and spend in the cause of Allah and strive in the cause of Allah.
that bab of mercy is open. The mercy in favor of Allah is open. His, his rahma is wasiyat uh, kulushe. His mercy encompasses everything. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Also from this hadith, it shows us the importance of the prayer. To follow and pray exactly like the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. To make our prayers on time as the Prophet Alayhi Salatu Wasallam ordered us. In a hadith of Ibn Mas'ud radiallahu ta'ala Su'ila Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam on Ayya A'mal Ahibul Allah Azza wa Jal. What deed is more beloved to Allah, the Almighty? Qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, salat ala waqtiha. Prayer in its established time. In another narration, prayer in the beginning of its time. That's one of the most beloved deeds you can have with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, is that salat. And with that is immense forgiveness. You can get forgiveness for what you did. You have spoken weed, get forgiveness. You committed zina, you can get forgiveness. You hurt someone, get forgiveness. You lied, get forgiveness. You slandered, get forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam in another hadith said, Al-Jumwa ila Jumwa wa salat ila salat. The meaning of this hadith, because I've forgotten the actual love, is that jumwa to jumwa and prayer to prayer is a forgiveness for your sin. It is forgiveness for what you committed between it. So if you go to jumwa, you attend your jumwas, this is forgiveness for you. Between all those sins that you committed between the last Jumwa, illa kabayim, except the major sins. So at least for the minor sins, you can get forgiveness. But it also means that you have to attend with your heart as well as your body. It also means that when you pray Salat to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone, that it's in accordance with the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and that your heart and your body is there in your prayer. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us to improve our prayers. Help us to come closer to Him. Help us to gain forgiveness. Help us to gain His continual mercy. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us of our many, many, many sins we commit during the day and the night.